Hey, what is up, guys? Iron Kiwi here. Um, this morning, I was doing a little bit of plasma cutting on the CNC table here, and my motor basically bit the dust on the air compressor. So, looks like I'm going to have to shop for a new compressor. This one was kind of kind of old anyways, and I don't know. I'm just going to get something that's a little more powerful. It'll keep up with everything a bit faster. Um, but I wanted to show you this. I actually picked up a few cannonballs the other day. Let me just show you what I've got here. Um, so a guy was selling these locally on, like uh, I think it was Craigslist, and I wanted to pick them up to use them to weld with, right? Like to do some sort of welding project, maybe make like a, a mace or something like that, um, weld some spikes on, stuff like that. But um, I bought them anyways when I got there, but they're actually, I was hoping they were solid cannonballs, like the really old ones from the 1800s. But when I got there, it looks like they were the type that had fuses and gunpowder inside. So I'm a little afraid to weld onto them because they'll probably blow up and kill me. So anyways, I'm not going to do that. This one definitely, this one's bigger, but it's hollow and there's something shaking around inside here. I'm not super familiar with these type. Um, so I might try to pop that plug out and see, make sure there's no gunpowder in there anyways, just, just to be safe. Um, and same thing with this one. I'll try to get that off maybe. It looks like maybe there is a hole drilled in it. I can actually kind of see all the way through there. There's a little bit of light. doesn't sound like there's anything in there, but I still wouldn't want to risk welding onto it because even if there was a little bit, it could cause enough pressure in there to blow up, right? This one feels almost solid, but then you can see, it looks like there's some sort of a cap there. Um, feels a lot heavier, so I don't know if this one maybe still has gunpowder in it. Um, but yeah, it just seems weird that it has this solid cap because they wouldn't really weld it shut with gunpowder in it. So, anyways, I just wanted to show you that. I think they're from, you know, the early 1900s or something. This one's about six inch and these ones are about four inch. Um, yeah, I don't know what I'm gonna do with them. I probably may use them in a future video, but as of right now, it's a little too dangerous. So I'll be shopping around for a new compressor, do some more plasma projects pretty soon. Um, and as some of you guys know, I've got a sort of buster sword in the works here, a big stainless one. It'll be hollow, but it's going to be all reinforced inside. Um, kind of hard to see here, but you can see I've got the side bent and the side piece. And then I'm going to um, maybe bend it a little bit more and attach that so I can weld it, or I may fill it in with a piece just because the gap is a bit too big. Um, and then I'll totally, I'll make it look like the actual buster sword from FF7 and then hopefully use it on a vehicle. So yeah, stay tuned. I'm going to be doing that pretty soon. Um, and now that I've got this plasma up and running, I've got a few battle axe jobs in the works. Um, I've got a couple of things I still have to refine here, like this, um, smoke extractor thing. I'm going to put it up along the ceiling just to kind of keep everything a little bit cleaner, sort of tidy this up a bit more. Just been you know, making, cutting stuff out on this thing and making some sign holders and stuff. Just little projects going on, but um, yeah, it'll be nice when we get some warmer weather too. We can actually start doing a little more outside stuff and kind of, yeah, just making a bit more progress. But uh, thank you very much for watching and please subscribe as always. Um, and I actually have these hot peppers here, which are ridiculously hot. And I made a video of me eating one and it is ridiculous. So I might as well post that video soon so you guys can see it, but these things are like deadly, like they're like the hottest thing ever. But in the video, I eat a whole one. Like even that little piece, man, starting to burn. Whew. And because they're dried out, it's like they're hotter too. So, oh, anyways, talk to you guys soon. Iron Kiwi out.